The Federal Reserve, of course, watching this uh, disappointing number uh, that we talked about on the U.S. economy. There it is. Dagan brought it up 1.1 percent. Uh, that's the growth rate at an annual basis. So, uh, former Wells Fargo CEO uh, Richard uh, Kovacevic is with us now to talk about that and also kind of follow up on what we were just talking about. Uh, I want to, could Donald Trump make a bigger issue of this? So the last time a GDP figure came out, uh, this one was following up on that. He, he kind of he got off message and was talking about another topic. But now the presidential race has turned into, you know, who's a racist, who's a bigot, all this kind of stuff that we'll talk about in a few minutes. But the economy um, is not great right now, is it? No, it isn't. And uh, I think he certainly could make a case about that. And it hasn't been great for seven years. It's the slowest recovery we've ever had by a huge factor. But, you know, he doesn't talk about policy much, so I don't know that he will. <laughs> what do you think is going on then in the actual economy right now? You're right about the longer term, and people put in the, the statements about President Obama since he took office. We've had an annual growth rate of just 1.7%. So the 1.1 is a little bit lower than that, but it's been below 2%. What is holding America back the most right now, your view? Well, I think it's we have the wrong monetary and fiscal policies. The policies that have worked in the past have been ignored. We have uh, unconventional monetary policies. And probably the, the biggest factor we have is, is an extreme level of regulation, two or three times uh, uh, greater than any uh, other administration. And that's why our pro productivity is low and why businesses have uh, practically no confidence in the future growth of the uh, U.S. economy b because of that and because the world's economy isn't doing well. Well, that is something so these that combination of factors could be fixed, right, by, uh, say, Trump, if he were to win, has talked about cutting a lot of those regulations. You could move in with executive orders and do a lot of that, couldn't you? Uh, you wouldn't even need necessarily legislation. Are you talking about something much bigger? No, no, absolutely. I think a lot can be done. And, and I think uh, the bully pulpit of a president who says they are going to do something about the economy and, and do work on productivity and, and less regulation and certainly no increase in costs that have occurred to small businesses, and particularly because of, of, uh, of uh, uh, Obamacare. Obamacare and so on. Right. All these things have been very, very, very uh, negative for business growth and job growth. Corporate taxes, I mean, that's something else that's come up, you know, comparing us to other countries, right? I mean, we're not, we're not as competitive yes. as we could be there. I mean, uh, what, what do you think the corporate tax rate I, should I, be? I, I think that the, the rate they're talking about around 25% is about right. Uh, uh, it could be a little bit lower than that, but I think 25% is a good place to start. And I think there's actually bipartisan agreement on that. Uh, and, and, and that should be something that could be passed in 2017, wh whichever party is in power. It's not ridiculously low. I mean, you know, it's not like Ireland at 12 percent or some other numbers that Trump has talked about going much lower, I think 15 percent. And finally, what about income taxes? What do you think is a fair rate for people? You know, people, upper income people, what should they be paying in taxes? What percentage of their income? Well, I, I, I think, you, you know, the 39 percent is a reasonable number, but, oh. but what, I really would like, what I really would like to see is a much lower rate uh, in a marginal income tax rates and eliminate deductions. Uh, I think we should get down to a 25 to 30 percent rate, but eliminate all these uh, deductions so that uh, we have, you know, relatively uh, level income coming in by the lower uh, tax rate because deductions wouldn't be allowed, and that's a much better way to uh, have the economy grow is have lower marginal uh, tax rates. Right, and then people pay the actual rate as opposed to getting all those uh, deductions. Thank you, sir. Good discussion. Yes. Thank you very much for coming on.